Welcome to part 5 of uh, this tutorial. I have uh, installed the OpenPilot uh, ground control system application and uh, I'm waiting for the controller to be installed by Windows. I have connected it to the USB port and after it's recognized I'm gonna try to see if I can configure it and uh, test the motors. The driver was installed and uh, we get this uh, warning about the version of uh, OpenPilot uh, software and firmware. Okay, let's go to setup wizard. So I don't have any propellers installed, next. And we need to upgrade first. Board is going into bootloader mode, please wait. Uploading firmware. Port updated. Next to continue. Okay, next. I'm using uh, PWM next it's a multi rotor next uh, and yes it's in uh, x format next uh, i'm going to select the standard ecs for now next next let's follow the steps so i need to confirm the security questions then I need to press the start button and now I am going to connect the battery. So the ER ERCs are calibrating. Okay, now I'm going to press stop and I need to wait for the confirmation. And I'm going to disconnect the battery. Battery is disconnected. I'm going to the next step. So I'm going to click next. The battery is connected again. Uh, now uh, we are going to test if uh, each motor spins in the right direction, if it's positioned correctly. Motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4. And also uh, we are going to check its uh, spinning uh, direction and uh, going to configure the idle speed. I'm going to click start and move the slider so you can see motor 1 is spinning but if you look closely I don't know if it's possible to see on the camera the motor spins opposite from uh, what is uh, shown on the computer it should spin uh, clockwise and my motor spins anti-clockwise so that's not good I need to unsolder two wires and uh, uh, change between them okay let's see the other motors to know if we need to do that again so motor 2 motor 2 seems as it's indicated so it's okay uh, motor 3 motor 3 Spins in the right direction and motor 4. Motor 4 it's also reversed, so I need to reverse these two motors. So I'm going to stop this wizard and I'm going to solder the motors and uh, try again. To calibrate the motor, 
you need to press start button and move this slider until the motor starts spinning so you adjust it here so let's try again so there it goes i'm gonna press stop and repeat this for all the four, uh, three remaining motors. The motors are all configured. I'm going to click next. So I'm going to keep current tuning next. Why not save it? This will actually write the settings into the controller. So that was Okay, now let's go to the transmitter setup wizard. Okay, next. So let's take the transmitter close. It's the turn engine 9x. It's a normal transmitter, so I'm going to click next. It's a mode 2. Yes. And now it says to move the throttle, I'm going to turn on the remote, remote it's powered on, so I'm moving the sticks like it's showing me. Because the transmitter setup wizard didn't go as planned, I had to do some rewiring to the receiver. And uh, it seems that my controller is a clone and uh, the color of the wires are not uh, exactly the ones that are specified in uh, its documentation. So it was a try and error method. I started with the channel 3 with the main wire from the controller which is the throttle. And after that I tried each wire on a channel and then with the setup wizard try to find the corresponding uh, uh, wires to the sticks here and uh, I finally did it. I also had to reconfigure the remote. Uh, it's in uh, acro mode, it's a plain mode and also I had to set up uh, an auxiliary channel on channel 5 here which is throttle hold to make uh, the F mode button work with the controller otherwise you will not be able to finish uh, the procedure so now I'm going to show you how to program the remote I'm gonna enter the transmitter setup wizard okay remote it's acro I'm gonna move the camera now you can see better here is acro mode i'm going to click next it's uh, mode 2 next and then i'm going to move the throttle button as you can see it was confirmed now the other button and so on and now this one and your button stick and now the F mode switch, which should be done rapidly a few times. And I'm going to skip auxiliaries, accessory switch, next. Now you have to calibrate by moving all the sticks all around, so that the minimum and maximum positions are recorded. and the F switch mode button a few times okay I'm going to click next and now I need to check if my switches correspond to the movement on the screen I'm gonna add some light so if I move the throttle it's okay Yo, it's okay and the pitch and roll they are also okay, but you can see the pitch is uh, reversed now. I'm gonna click next. To save the settings, I'm going to click next. And here, you are going to select a method for uh, 
for arming I'm gonna select to <coughs> pitch after okay, and I'm going to select save so the settings are now saved let's see if it works on the quadcopter I'm going to arm it like this you heard the lady there that it's armed and if I push the throttle we have throttle I'm not going to run it without propellers and the motors can overheat so it's working because my CC3D was uh, installed with the arrow pointing on the left side and the USB port is on the right side I need to change the options from the open pilot software because uh, it's not uh, correctly oriented so I'm going to show you how to do that you are going to select attitude mode here and uh, you are going to adjust the EO using this table I found online you can see if the board is uh, uh, the top board is facing up and the arrow is point pointing left then I need to adjust the yaw with 90 degrees with plus so I'm going to add here 90 degrees and save the info and that was the configuring of the controller position so now I have obtained basically a flying quad uh, it needs sorting out uh, with the wires uh, assembling on the top fixing the receiver but that's easy now as the basics are done also I'm going to take a good look into the open pilot and see what else I can configure and uh, maybe add another part to this uh, tutorial bye bye for now